As a river approaches the end of its journey towards its mouth, it usually flows over flatter land. It develops increasingly large bends, called meanders. Meanders constantly change their shape and position, sometimes creating steep cliffs, like these in the Mosul Valley, over a period of thousands and thousands of years. The water scours the banks and the river bottom. The faster it flows, the more material it carries. The speed of the water varies in different parts of the river channel. Fast-flowing water in this river is carrying mud, shingle and debris. Where there is a bend in the river, it wears the outside bank away. Little by little, the water undercuts the bank. The slowest flowing part of the river is on the inside of the bend, where the friction is highest. And this is where it deposits its load of mud and shingle, forming a bank. Over the years, it extends further and further into the river. Meanwhile, on the outside of the bend, the water continues to cut into the bank. The result is that the river bends more and more, meandering across the land. Some of the world's most impressive meanders are in the Luangwa Valley, Zambia. And here, an even more dramatic feature, an oxbow lake, can result. The neck of the meander gets narrower and narrower, until, at a time of flood, the river cuts through the neck and shortens its course. The original meander gets blocked off by further deposits of material, to leave a crescent-shaped Oxbow Lake. This meander became an Oxbow Lake, and within a few years it had dried up. <laughs> 